good morning good morning beautiful people how are you doing good morning from wherever you are also good afternoon and a good night <laughs> depends at what time you're watching me uh buenos dias buenos tardes buenos noches <laughs> i've been trying to learn some spanish guys uh because i'm interested to travel to south america one of these days maybe in the near future i'm very interested to travel to south america and check out uh, you know the life there and uh yeah i know that if you want to be traveling to south america most of the countries there are speaking spanish one thing guys about me is that uh i can speak four languages i think right now i can speak about four languages that is Kinyarwanda, Swahili, English, and French. Yeah, guys, I can speak French. Yeah. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Soyez la bienvenue dans mon chaîne de YouTube. Uh, S'il te plaît, abonnez-vous dans mon chaîne de YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I can speak a little bit of French, but yeah, I'm good, bro. And um, so, guys, this is a beautiful morning in the village of Nyabohanse guys you can see like uh, behind me we got some goats you know trying to graze there is a goat right there actually chilling in the at the rock on top of the rock right there just right there chilling you know sun grazing a beautiful morning right here in the village of Nyabohanse in Migori County guys i'm enjoying the life here in in the village guys this is just life that is soft life just like mara says it <laughs> soft life life eh? so guys if you are new to this channel you just popped out to this channel you found me by mistake or you came here from mara's channel or from any other youtubers in yabo hanse yeah guys please subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button and um support me guys i'm on currently on the road to 1k subscribers and also uh please consider watching this video up to the end so that i can pull in the watch hours and uh be able to meet youtube's uh, conditions for monetizing a channel so guys uh today is just uh, a chill day let me show you around uh the village of Nyabohanse guys so guys this is this is the house that I'm staying in if you guys know Cloudy Joseph please go and check him out uh, Cloudy Joseph this is uh, his bulletproof house this house is called a bulletproof I think because of uh, the walls the walls are very thick guys it has it has very thick walls so it runs all the way there we got the compound right there beautiful trees right here you know it's just uh surrounded with nature i'm surrounded with nature right here so guys you can see like right here we have uh, goats just chilling <laughs> this is a village guys so we got goats chilling look at mr goat right there just grazing we got another one there chilling on the rock we got maize plantation over here guys yeah man being in a village must be amazing because one of the reason why is because you get to have this big space all to yourself you get to have the calmness of living you know in nature bro there is nothing better than living in a village guys you know getting away from the hustle and bustle of the city you enjoy the village life eating uh, fresh fruits fresh food right from the farm guys you can see the farm there it's a maize farm going all the way up to down there i know you can't see it right now you get to have your own cattle like goats 
cows and all that stuff guys and also you can build your own house and uh, get to have only you know <laughs> nature and uh, yeah you get to have only nature and trees and birds to be your neighbors so you get away from the hustle and bustle of uh, a city a typical city actually is very noisy very smoky full of uh, full of very many you know pollution and all that stuff eating food that is processed and uh, gmo but right here in the village you get to eat fresh fresh food from the right from the farm guys and uh, i've been eating fish right here and it is fish fresh from the lake actually and when fish is uh, uh has been kept in a, in a fridge for a long time guys it doesn't taste the same as a fresh fi fish from the lake fish from the lake is very tasty that thing is very juicy and tasty because it's been killing my taste buds actually and i've been thinking what have i been eating on <laughs> in the city you know because uh fish uh from the lake freshly fished from the lake is very different from the stuff that they bring us in the city that has been refrigerated for many many months so that is not fresh guys so this is typical typical village life let me show you a, just a small tour guys of where i am being hosted courtesy again of uh, bt burundian traveler my brother if you're watching this thank you very much for hosting me and also CJ's family and the Burundi Travels family. Thank you guys for hosting me in this place. Look at that, guys. We got the compound over there. They're just drying some maize for making ugali. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying here just village life. And uh, soft life is the hashtag over here. So you can see the nature around us, how beautiful it is. Another thing, guys, you have to know is when you're in the village the air that you are breathing in is very 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 pure air you got trees surrounding you this just look at the nature trees all over just surrounding you and all the carbon in the air is you know taken by the trees through photosynthesis and then they give you oxygen as a byproduct and then all the air that you are breathing in into your lungs is pure 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 oxygen and that actually by science has been proven to add you at least a little bit of lifespan you know very many people here in the village they live very long actually very long we got Bibi, actually she's around 86 years and she still can walk, she still can work in the farm, you know, this is the farm, she has some plantations of uh, peanuts in this farm guys, and she still can work in the farm right by her own, she still can walk at 86 years old, most of the people in the city, they can't even get out of a bed actually to do anything by themselves. This is the bonus of being in a typical African village or any other village around the world. So guys, keep watching this video as I take you around my day. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Push me to that 1K subscribers. So also don't, you know, don't go away. Keep watching this vlog and enjoy the moment. Not okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your man here, Joel Mugisha, coming at you all the way from Nyabohanse village. And today we have a guest, a special guest yes. on our channel, guys. This very beautiful lady. Can you introduce yourself? Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Guys, my name is Faith Boke. Yeah. And I'm glad to meet you. Oh, wow. You're from Rwanda, right? Yeah. Correct. I'm glad to meet you. My name is Faith Boke. Wow. I'm from... Uh, Nyabohanse. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Nyabohanse. Oh, wow. I was born here, raised here, and I live here. Oh, no, no, no way. Yeah. <laughs> I can say I don't have that uh, much exposure. Mm. Yeah. I've never traveled a lot to maybe outside the country. I'm just here. But I'm planning to do that. 
Oh wow. Mm. Le, let me ask you a question. Mm. You are saying you are from the village and yeah. you look like a city girl. Guys, I'm from the village. <laughs> it's only that when maybe I want to go out, mm. I feel like I can just dress. You know, I have taste. I have taste in dressing. Mm-hmm. That's the only difference. But when you find me at home, mm. hey, I'm just a village girl. Really? No, I'm just dressed to work. No, your taste is too good for the <laughs> village. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, you know, you know, uh, uh, like when you're looking at uh, village girls, mm-hmm. most of the time they just dress to dress, like uh, not to be naked. You know, there's okay. no style in there. Uh, there's no sense of just, style. Yeah, they just like, put on something just mm-hmm. not to be naked. That's all. Because in the village, you mm-hmm. don't have the stress of looking good or okay. all that. But now you, you got style. Yeah, but <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's just in in someone. You just find yeah. yourself. Mm. Liking, you know, the trends, fashion, mm-hmm. just, yeah, it's just something in, in me. Let oh. me say that, yeah. Wow. So when, uh, when uh, you, you said you are born here. Yeah. So have you lived all your life here or have you gone outside for some okay, time? Okay, maybe going outside, maybe to visit someone mm-hmm. or maybe or a relative or maybe schooling. When I was schooling in high school, yeah. I went in, in Migori there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I interacted with maybe... Luo in Luo land. Yeah, that's where I studied in secondary school. Yeah, but I've never been outside, maybe living there mm. or maybe going for a holiday. Mm. I've never. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, you've been exposed to outside life. You've been in Nairobi for some time. Hmm. Let me tell you, I was in Nairobi when I was a young kid. Yeah. <laughs> Nairobi is the capital. Yes, I'm not, I'm not, I can't hide you. I can't just say that. I was, I've been living in Nairobi and I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. So I only went there when I was a kid, mm. school trips. Yeah. And that was it. Mm. I've never stayed there permanently. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the last time we went there, I was just passing mm. to Mombasa and then I just passed there. Mm. And then Mombasa, I was just going to, to, to see my sister there. Mm. And then I came back after three days. So I have never stayed outside mm. near Bohansi for a long time. Oh. Yeah. So I'm trying I'm trying to understand where you get you got this style of dressing. Mm-hmm. Because you can see people, she's dressed nicely, she looks nice. Yay! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. For me, I only I always I always dress, but I don't know if I dress well. Maybe I when oh, people really? compliment are, me, are you sure you don't well, lie, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly speaking, by the way, it takes me time to to get out of the house because I'm like, yeah. it is cloth fit me well. Like I, I'm, I'm always not sure about yeah. how I dress. Oh, yeah, really? well, lie, I'm, I'm always not sure about how I dress. I yeah. don't believe that. <laughs> Guys, that's a fact. Those who know me because, can tell. Uh, because if you're not sure, mm. then some days should be not. Uh... No, but no, always, because what I buy always <laughs> your slave because babe. what I usually what I usually buy yeah. is I don't, I can't buy something that I'm not sure. Of, but when, when it comes to dressing now, styling mm. maybe the top and the trouser, yeah. like I find it hard. Yeah. But I always dress like I'm ninety nine percent sure, but one percent is not sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. So, what inspires your your daily routine actually your dress code and all your look in 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 general okay i just love myself okay and i just okay because i love myself i have to take a shower Mm -hmm. and dress Mm -hmm. and get out here maybe Mm -hmm. feeling a a bit a little bit confident Mm -hmm. that's yeah i don't i don't see that someone has just dressed like that i want to copy her no i just feel like i want to take a shower even if if i want to go for any event maybe here like this party of ayamara i have to just be at least smart Mm. yeah just wake up and take a shower dress put on my earrings Mm -hmm. yeah then i come here Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Mm. So I want to tell you something. Okay. Like, uh, uh, I've been here since Wednesday. Mm. Was it Wednesday? Yeah. I arrived. Last in, week. No, this week. This week. Actually, I arrived this uh, week. No, we are in another week. We're in, on Monday. So oh, last. We are, we are on Sunday today. Oh, we are on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> guys. So guys, if you're watching this mm-hmm. video, probably it will be on Monday. Yeah. We are shooting it on, on, on Sunday. Sunday. Yes. So I arrived to Ayam Maro's uh, villa mm. on Wednesday, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. So I've been here for how many days? It's been uh, four days, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been four days. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, as a man, I've been looking around mm-hmm. all the ladies, but uh, my eyes have been fixed on you. Hey! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I, I haven't had you. Just pardon uh-huh. me again. Pardon me again. Yeah, yeah. So 
like uh, I'm saying, I've been looking around or uh, the ladies that are around here. But uh, let me just say that I noticed you. Among, Why? among, among all the, the others, among all the lots, mm-hmm. <laughs> you're the one I noticed. Why? Why? That's the question. Why? Why? Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason is, just as I, I've um, told you, you look like uh, you take care of uh, good care of yourself. Mm-hmm. You look good. You have style, and you dress good actually. And also hey. you are. <laughs> what? This is new, guys. Uh, since we came to this party, uh-huh. no one has ever approached me. I don't know if they're afraid of me. Ah, uh, but I, I, I'm not upset that mm. honestly. Uh, yeah, but you find that I've never. This is the first time. Guys. No, you Woo! know. You know what? This is something else. <laughs> you know what? Uh. Men, men. For a man to to approach a woman, mm. you need courage first of all. Okay. And then uh, when the lady now looks very good, mm-hmm. like the way you dress, mm. so you are intimidating many, very many men okay. around here. <laughs> okay. Not, I, I don't put on short clothes. Not really. Not yeah. not about short clothes. Mm. Like. Uh, you are dressed elegantly. Okay. You, are, you, you elegant. understand. Yeah, I understand that. The way you are elegant, mm-hmm. like it will take a lot for a man to approach you because okay. they need more courage mm-hmm. and also they are unsure of themselves. You know, maybe they are thinking maybe I'll get rejected, you know. You're right. Yeah. So when 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 you look more elegant, mm. yeah, for most for most men actually it can it can intimidate them. All right. So that's my that's maybe that's the reason why mm. nobody has approached you yet. <laughs> this is new guys, you know. I've 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 never it was long since experienced this. Mm-hmm. And it sounds oh it was long. <laughs> when I, maybe I was in high, high school, that's yeah. why I, when I used to experience such things, you know, someone approaching you yeah. and you're walking. But you know, the way I carry myself nowadays, mm. I want to be expressed like a lady. I don't oh, want to be wow. I don't want to behave like my age. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, so we find that many times when I tell someone my age, mm. they don't believe it. Mm. Because and I, I have been mistaken. Can you tell us your age? Hey! <laughs> One time I was doing a video with Rosio, yeah. and he she asked me the, 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 my age. Mm. Uh, and then I told her, yeah. it's going to be, let, let us ask our, fan, our fans mm. uh, to guess my age. Mm. And people came to my page, they were like, you look that... You look 27. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? I'm not even <laughs> close to that. What are you, do, like how? Why are you yeah. saying, uh, do I have wrinkles? Yeah. Why are you saying that I, I look like 30 or 34? Someone said, mm. you look 30 to 34 years old. I was oh. like, fuck. <laughs> I'm not even 25 yet. Not really. I'm not even 25 yet. No I way. have four sisters in front of me. Now I can't believe you myself. And my, 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 mm. our, our firstborn mm. is not yet 30 years old. Really? And I'm the fourth born. Now, wow. how can I be 27 or 25 years old? Wow. So we, I have two, mm-hmm. two, three in front of me. And the yeah. first born is not yet 30 years old. No way. So I have this uh, uh, character of mm. behaving like a grown up. I don't have that ga- uh, that oh, wow. immature yeah. behaviors, you know. Yeah. You find uh, my eight men, they, they have that kind of dressing. Monkey bags, you know. Mm. They... There's some way they're carrying themselves that I don't do that. Yeah. Me, I fit in those mm-hmm. cool ladies, you know, the relaxed ones. Mm. And they age between maybe 27 to 30 years old. So that's why people can rank me to them. Oh, wow. So when I tell someone my age, they're like, mm. no, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. Guys, even me, I don't believe right ah, now. Ah, no. She's saying that she's below 35. Yeah. Guys, can you look at Below her? 35. You're, you're talking about 35. You're joking. No, below 25. Yeah. <laughs> Confidently. Even my parents have yeah. never lied about my age. And they oh. keep on insisting to people, you know, it's so, it's so young. Hmm. And they're like, I'm telling them, yes, I can be. I can have a, a, a what do you call a small age, hmm. but upstairs. Me, I do I do think like a grown-up. Yeah, by the way, actually, carry myself as a actually grown-up. that is true. Actually, yeah. when you are, like, when you're walking here... Mm-hmm. And you look at the people who are around. Mm-hmm. Okay, there are people who look mature because of their age. Yeah. Yeah, they have kids, you know. Yeah, they are mature mm-hmm. just by age, by number. But now, you know, uh, someone like you, mm-hmm. just as uh, I was telling you, mm-hmm. you look like you take good care of yourself. Okay. You, you dress elegantly. And also you look like uh, you. your behavior, you mm-hmm. behave mature. Mature. And also you are... 
actually you are nice i don't know why people are fearing you but you are <laughs> nice <laughs> no i don't know mm. but honestly speaking about my age mm. that's the fact i've never lied about my age mm-hmm. and i usually don't like to 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 justify myself what do you call by that by uh, could you explain yeah yeah you know you're insisting to be young and people yeah. may think that you maybe you're lying to them you want to yeah. look young yeah. no but I think it's because uh, you said you've been living here. Around yeah. Around, yeah. By the for a for a few days that I've been in the village, mm. uh, I've been lucky to be hosted at CJ's place. Okay. Yeah, where he at uh, his mom's place, mm-hmm. where he built the bullet the bulletproof house. Okay. So I've been eating actually very fresh food. Mm-hmm. Very Without. Fresh food. Uh, yeah. Okay. You you don't pay. No, I don't pay. Okay. I don't know, it's CJ's mm-hmm. place. I don't know if you've seen uh, on Cloudy Joseph's yeah. uh, YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. He has a house that he calls Bulletproof House. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then uh, there's uh, also the Airbnbs. Hey. So those are separate. That's okay. a separate land. Mm-hmm. So there's uh, a land where he built his Bulletproof House. Mm-hmm. And that's where his dad and mom and also his grandma, mm-hmm. they live. Uh, so that is like Kwabomayao. All right. Yeah. So I've been hosted there actually, guys. Uh Shout out to CJ's family. Mm-hmm. Also, courtesy of Bur- Burundian Traveler. Okay. It's Burundian Traveler who took me there, actually. Mm-hmm. So, bro, if you're watching this, mm-hmm. thank you very much. Because on first day, actually, I slept on the floor. Really? Yeah. Without any blanket? Uh, okay, I had a blanket, but mm-hmm. I slept on the you floor. You was? Mm-hmm. You were given? Um, I was okay. given some. But on the floor without any even... No, no, no. You what you call Jamvi? What is Jamvi? Jamvi is the... You don't know that thing that is made by... Mm. Uh, a certain tree. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, you know that, it. That thing, like, like a mat. Like a mat. Yeah, yeah. I had that. I had. That. Okay, but, but it's my, very my, uncomfortable. Yeah, my ribs were crying. Oh, no, morning. I can't even sleep on that. Even if I'm from my a village, were, it's but, so hard. But by the way, I cannot complain. Actually, mm. I was happy even to have that because yeah. uh, I knew while I, while coming here, I didn't know anyone. Okay. So I took a risk. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, you know, in the beginning of the party, I mm-hmm. was like, man, where am I going to be hosted? Where mm-hmm. am I going to be sleeping? Mm-hmm. And then I kept watching you guys mm-hmm. coming here, your mm-hmm. lives being changed, okay. you know, your YouTube growing. Mm-hmm. I was like, no way. I have to go in the last week. <laughs> At least, yeah. if, uh, even if I don't get a host, mm-hmm. I can sleep on the balcony yeah. for the remaining one week and then I go back. Yeah. But on the first day, I slept on the floor mm-hmm. and I wasn't even complaining. But mm-hmm. my brother BT recognized mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then uh, he offered to host me. All right. And, uh, and that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So good. that was a by the way, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, back on our story. So you saying that you are below twenty five. I'm below twenty five. Yeah, and, uh, and by I'm the not way, even close to the. Right. You're not even close. Twenty five. No. Mm-hmm. Guys, you should mm. guess my age. Just <laughs> guess my age in age in the comment section. Mm. Yeah, just comment down there. I'm gonna see it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but just don't say that. So that is very far. Very far. Yeah. So what do you say? I told, About I, oh, I, I told you I I, I like you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how do you like me? You can like me as a sister. Yes. You can like me as a sister. Mm-hmm. You can like me as as a no. YouTuber. Just liking me, it's good to like me. No, I, I like you as a woman. Okay, you like me as a woman. Yeah. It's good to like me as a woman. <laughs> yes, you like me so. Yeah. So. so. <laughs> <laughs> you like me so. So. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. it's not bad to like someone. You can find maybe people. A lot of people are here like me, and it's not bad. So, yeah. So I'm I'm waiting to hear the so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say the so. Maybe you tell me the so. Yeah, the so. Yeah. I I tell you the so. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's hear, guys. Let's hear. Let's hear your faith faith Bokeh's story. Yeah. So we'll start with this. Uh, what's your experience with uh, dating? My experience with dating, mm-hmm. honestly. It hasn't been bad because I'm not that kind of person of dating a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't put date. I did, I didn't put dating in my mm-hmm. past days mm-hmm. as kipaumbele ni in English. Kipaumbele. Like kweka kitu unaki. Oh, as a priority. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I didn't prioritize. Yeah. Dating, okay. yeah, because I grew up in a very strict family. Mm. So when I was growing up, when I finished my high school, that was form four, mm. my dad was very, very strict. Mm. You can't even find time to go and meet your boyfriend. So wow. it was very hard for me to date. Wow. I can say, what, for what I can say, mm-hmm. yeah, I only had one person. 
Oh wow. And uh, I never had any any other person. It's only that one. So guys, I think she's my type. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why am I your type? <laughs> Honestly speaking, I'm even those who are going to see this video. I'm yeah. uh, speaking from uh, yeah, you're gonna see this video and watch this video. That's mm-hmm. a fact. Yeah. I maybe it, maybe that the high school things mm-hmm. going for the outings, yeah. you know. Yeah. But after that, when you're grown up, I was maybe after that, after one year, you know, I finished form four with seventeen years old. What? I finished form four with seventeen years. Seventeen years old. I was studying in a school called Moisuba Girls. It's Man, in Migori. I, I was, was was I eighteen or nineteen? Really? When I finished. For <laughs> me, I studied without even skipping. I didn't repeat any class. So you are a smart. Lady. Yeah, and my mom mm. took me to school when I was very young. Oh wow! So I studied from class one to class eight without repeating from form one to form four that way. Oh And wow. I finished with seventeen years old. Wow. So from there, I, uh, my mind was still immature. Mm. So I didn't value dating. Yeah. And then after there, after 20, 2019, there I think I met someone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I think that's my dating story. You know, I, I'm saying that you're my type. Yeah. In in Rwanda, we have uh, m- most of the YouTubers who go to Rwanda, mm. especially those who like to party, mm-hmm. they say that uh, the, the nightlife there is boring. Mm-hmm. Like in Rwanda, by the way, you can go to a club mm-hmm. and you find like there is a bunch of dudes, no women. Okay. <laughs> so uh-huh. uh, you'll find maybe if there is a woman, mm-hmm. most of the time she came with her husband or her boyfriend, okay. things like that. Mm. It's not because uh, of anything else. Mm. It's just that the culture there and the tradition, they have a strong cultural belief in uh, African morality. You mm-hmm. remember that? Yeah. yeah. So most of the time you find that uh, it's a prejudice for a woman to go clubbing and then come back in like 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Like you'll have a bad reputation around. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So so most ladies, uh, when they go, maybe they go out, actually. They mm-hmm. do. They do go but out. But Rwanda but ladies look like, you, you look like a Rwanda. Are, you call Rwandese. Or Rwandese, yeah. Rwandese. Yeah. Guys, this face mm-hmm. and the way you know Rwandan ladies, like you, you look, you look like a Rwandese. Yeah, I'm Rwandese. You're a Rwandese, and <laughs> yeah. you, really, you know, I can tell you, I'm a Korea, but yeah. I don't look like a, like a Korea. Like a but for you, yeah. the face is coming like a Rwandese, guys, Rwandese. as you can see. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. How do we look? You have this face. You, know, you see, my face is round, mm-hmm. but you guys, you have oh, your ladies long, have the yeah, long, long face. yeah, the long face yeah. and uh, sharp nose and yeah. the dental formula of your ladies. You know, oh, yeah, 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 they're yeah. cute. Yeah. You know, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, so actually, mm-hmm. we do have round faces. In, round. In, yeah, in in Rwanda we do. Like mine. Yeah. Mm. We, do, we do have people who have round faces just like you. Mm-hmm. It's just that um, they are not. Uh, maybe I say they are not majority. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So guys, uh, I want to ask you, are you single? Hey guys, you know it's not good to say you're single yeah. when you're not. Yeah. And um, is you, I can't please him mm-hmm. by maybe wanting to protect his feelings yeah. and tell and lie to him that I'm single. Yeah. And then I give him hopes, I, lie, I keep on lying to him and yet I have someone. Oh. So I don't know if I'm going to break your heart, mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm taken fully yeah, you're, you're fully taken. yes and he's very jealous <laughs> when he's going to see this video oh, i don't know if he's gonna catch you i don't know if he's gonna beat you up but no. guys no he's a yeah. good guy mm-hmm. and he's not bad to express your feelings to someone mm-hmm. and he's not even it's not good mm-hmm. to lie Lie. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I can't lie to you here because yeah. I, I come here alone. Yeah. But like I'm lying to you, you know, yes, yeah. I love you, I want you. Mm-hmm. And then when you go to Rwanda, I have someone else. And if you hear that I'm married, mm-hmm. how will you feel? And oh. I gave you hopes a hundred percent that I'm single, oh. you have fallen in love with me. That's not yeah. a good idea. Okay. So guys, I'm taken. Uh-huh. And wherever you are, if you're watching this video, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, I'm oh, taken. Wow. I'm proud. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have someone, so guys, and he's very jealous. Oh my goodness! It's you alone. Don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> she's taken. Mm. Yeah, guys, she's taken. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, mm. but anyways, mm. uh, nice to meet you. I'm okay. Com- okay. Uh, you are a very cool lady. Thank you. Uh, with a good heart. Okay. So guys, if you're watching this, mm-hmm. uh, it's unfortunate she's right. taken. Okay. So kindly check her out on at her Faith YouTube channel yeah. at Faith Boke. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Yeah. Kindly subscribe. 
comment and share and if you're my fan yeah please subscribe to his channel yeah please watch his videos support him yeah yeah and if you're his his fan yeah. please subscribe to my channel yeah one love my brother from, right. Rwanda. from Rwanda. yeah but i hope you have a sister i'm coming for this okay sister. my sister i have beautiful <laughs> sisters if you're my sister you're gonna yeah. be a good in love mine yeah that so, one i i'm i'm supporting you a hundred percent sure <laughs> so if you're taken <laughs> yeah i'm gonna come for the sister <laughs> unfortunately i'm taken guys so yeah, yeah, yeah. i i have no choice but to mm -hmm. give him my sister mm -hmm. yes I hope the sister looks like you. Yeah, and she's yeah. even beautiful than beautiful. me. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank right, you guys. guys. I'm humbled. Okay. okay. Thank you guys for watching. All right.